Sang Kuryang and Dayang Sumbi is a legend among Sundanese people in Indonesia. The legend tells about the creation of Lake Bandung, Mount Tangkuban Parahu, Mount Burangrang, and Mount Bukit Tunggul. According to the legend, once upon a time, in Spargaloka, a pair of deities, a god and a goddess, committed a terrible sin. As punishment, Batari Sunan Ambu, the highest mother goddess, who also the queen of heaven in Sundanese mythology, banished them from Spargaloka and incarnated them on earth as animals. The god became a dog named Tumang, while the goddess became a boar named Chaleng Wayung Yang. One day, a Sundanese king went into a jungle to hunt but got lost and separated from his guard. The king urinated upon the bushes and his urine accidentally collected in a dried coconut shell. The Chaleng Wayung Yang, which happened to be in the vicinity, drank the king's urine to quench her thirst. Unbeknownst to her, the urine she had drunk contained a bit of his sperm and that subsequently impregnated Chaleng Wayung Yang. Being an animal, demigod, she became instantly pregnant and bore a child just hours later. The king, who was still in the jungle, heard the baby crying and found her laying around the bushes. She took her, he took her back to his kingdom and adopted, raised her as his own daughter never realizing that she was actually his real daughter. The baby girl grew up to be a beautiful girl named Dayang Sumbi, and many nobles and princes tried to court her, but none caught her interest. Her favorite thing to do was weaving, and she spent most of her time creating numerous beautiful clothes and textiles. She usually did her weaving in a section of the palace which, with an elevated pavilion in the garden. Then one day, the trompong or bamboo cylinder to spin the threads fell out into the ground outside the palace. As she was of nobility, she was forbidden to leave the palace on foot and was always carried around, but without anyone near to help her, she grew anxious to retrieve her trompong. In her anxiety, she made a promise out loud. Whomever picks the trompong for me will be rewarded. If she is a female, I will treat her as close as my own sister. And if he is a male, I I shall marry him. Suddenly Tumang, the dog god, came out of nowhere and retrieved the trompong for her. Princess Dayang Sumbi felt obliged to fulfill her promise and married him right away, despite Tumang being a dog. Naturally, the union caused an uproar and ensuing scandal in the palace. The king was utterly ashamed and embarrassed by the actions of his daughter and banished the princess into the woods. Feeling sorry for their princess, the king's subjects built her a modest cottage in the forest and left her alone with Tumang. She soon discovered that Tumang is a supernatural being and during the full moon was able to transform back into his original form as a handsome god. Dayang soon believed in the days for a while thinking that it was a strange dream that once a month a handsome man appeared to her and they make passionate love. They made love and fell passionately in love, after which Dayang Sumbi subsequently was impregnated and bore Situmang's child. That child was named Sangkuryang. Sangkuryang grew up to be an active and strong boy. Then around the time he was 10 years old, his mother came to him with her craving for deer liver and asked him to get one for her. Sangkuryang went for a hunt accompanied by his dog, Tumang, which Sangkuryang still didn't know was actually his father. Curiously, there was neither game 
animal or no deer in the woods when Sangkuriang suddenly spotted a wild boar. The boar, which is actually Chaleng Wang Yungyang, his grandmother. He gave a chase and tried to shoot her with his arrow, but was stopped by Tumang, who had realized that the boar was actually Sangkuriang's own grandmother. Wang Yungyang managed to escape, and this angered Sangkuriang, who took it out on Tumang, and then accidentally hurt Tumang. Tumang died from his injuries, and this further devastated Sangkuriang, who now had to come home empty-handed to his mother. So he cuts Tumang up and took his liver out to bring it back home to his mother. Upon his death, Tumang's soul returned to Svargaloka as the deity he was since he had lived out his punishment as dog on earth. Sangkuriang returned home to his mother with the promised meat and she unsuspectingly cooked it. After the meal, Dayang Sumbi asked Sangkuriang to summon Tumang to give him his share of the cooked liver. Feeling immense shame and guilt at the realization that he had killed his dog friend, his good friend, Sangkuriang confesses that the liver they had just eaten was actually Tumang's. Outrageous, outraged and horrified, Dayang Sumbi hits Sangkuriang on the head with a chantong or rice scoop spoon. So hard that Sangkuriang bled. Sangkuriang had never seen his mother so angry and her horror at his actions shocked him so much that he runs out of the house into the woods. Convinced that his mother hates him for killing Tumang, Sangkuriang decided not to return home and seeks out to live a life for himself in the woods. By now, Dayang Sumbi has calmed down but fails to track Sangkuriang down in the woods. In her distress, she prayed to the gods to reunite her with her son someday and swear never to eat any type of meat ever again, henceforth becoming a vegetarian with a steady diet of veg raw vegetables. The Sangkuriang suffered amnesia as a result of being hit in the head by his mother and slowly loses all memory of her. After running away from home, he met a powerful, wise hermit who adopted him and taught him pencak silat, or martial art, as well as supernatural skills to control the guriang, a type of young spirit. Sangkuriang grew up to be a handsome, strong man who puts his strength to, to good use by helping villagers in their fights against bandits and other troublemakers. Despite his carefree life, fate would intervene when he saw a beautiful girl in front of a small cottage on his way home through the forest. They started chatting and then spent more and more time together, eventually falling in love and made plans to marry. Never once did Sangkuriang recognize the cottage to be his childhood home and the beautiful girl to be his own mother. One day, before the planned wedding, Dayang Sumbi was brushing Sangkuriang's hair when she recognized the scar on Sangkuriang's head. All pieces fell together and she suddenly realized that she had fallen in love with her own son, who had left her 12 years previously. Horrified, she knew immediately that she could not marry her own son and revealed the whole truth to Sangkuriang and begged him to call off the wedding. But Sangkuriang did not believe her and insisted on going through with the wedding. The young Sumbi tried to further discourage Sangkuriang by presenting what she thought would be some impossible task for Sangkuriang to do as her condition as her conditions to marry him. First, Sangkuriang had to build her a great lake by filling the whole valley with water and then she asked for a boat so both of them could sail in it into the lake. The catch was that both tasks had to be completed in one night. Sangkuriang accepted the challenge and with the help of some Guryangs or heavenly spirits or gods in ancient Sundanese belief, 
He dammed the Chittarum River with landslides. The river's water rose and filled the plain, transforming it into a lake. Then Sangkuriang completed his second part of the Yang Sumbi's conditions by cutting down a massive tree to make a boat. When dawn break, Sangkuriang had almost completed building the boat and this mortified Dayang Sumbi, who had been convinced that he would fail. Refusing to give up, she made a final great prayer call to God for help. She wove her magic shawl and filled the eastern horizon with flashes of light. The shift by what appeared to be dawn, cocks, crowd, and farmers rose for a new day. Sangkuriang thought that he had failed. In his anger, he kicked the boat that he had built, and it fell, turning upside down, transformed it into Mount Tangkuban Parahu, or means the upside down boat mount. The wood left over from the boat become Mount Burangrang, and the rest of the huge tree become Mount Bukitunggul, and the lake become, became Lake Bandung, or it means like dam. Sangkuriang was now frustrated, but he still refused to give up on Dayang Sumbi. In his despair, he tried to force himself on Dayang Sumbi, but she managed to break free and run away from him. Sangkuriang gave chase and when, she, when he almost caught up with her at Gunung Putri, Dayang Sumbi begged the Almighty to help her one last time. In response, she was transformed into a juxy flower and as a result, Sangkuriang failed to find her in his search throughout the jungles and went insane. Hi, I'm Noodle Me and welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. And don't forget also to hit the notification button. Thank you.